Uh, we have one, we have a, a friend who is unconscious. It's the just released 911 call summoning help for the Penn State freshman who died during a fraternity hazing. Listen to it. There isn't a trace of urgency in the caller's voice. He's hasn't moved, he's probably the ambulance. Okay, how old is he? He is 19. Yeah, he's 19 years old. And was he breathing? He is breathing. Was there any alcohol or anything involved, do you know? Yes, there is. The call came too late to save Tim Piazza, who had fallen down a flight of stairs after the alcohol-fueled hazing at the Beta Theta Pi fraternity. The call was made by frat boy Ryan McCann 12 hours after Tim Piazza's fall. We spoke to prosecutor Stacy Parks away. Miller. They did not uh, tell all of the important details. They didn't say that he fell or had a head injury, and that's part of the issue um, with this case and part of the reason for the charges. A total of 18 fraternity members now face criminal charges. Eight of them faced arraignment today. And we've learned that a member of the Penn State faculty actually lives in the frat house. He's Tim Bream, the university's assistant athletic director. The dead frat boy's parents say they hold Bream partially responsible. This individual's job was to be an advisor and watch over these students, the boy's father said. He had to know there was alcohol going on. He had to know there was hazing going on. Tim Bream reportedly sent an email to fraternity members urging them to cooperate with police. He has not been charged.